Spending $6 million of taxpayer money on land might not sit well with everyone, but land with an ocean view in Encinitas for visitors and people to enjoy, well, that's leaving a lot of people smiling. CBS 8's Elizabeth Sanchez talked with the mayor of Encinitas about what this means for the city and people living there. Back in the day, this land was known as Hippie Hill, and there used to be a motel on it until it was demolished. Then the land sat empty, but now it will remain open space, and Encinitas residents will get to have a say on what that looks like. The two parcels of land are on the corner of Highway 101 and La Costa Avenue, known as Surfers Point. It's, the views are just beautiful. Karen Heiser lives right next door to the land and enjoys the beautiful sunset views on a clear day. This week, the Encinitas City Council voted 5-0 to zero to approve the land purchase for $6 million. It's a big, big number, not easy to come up with for a city like Encinitas, but uh, we all kind of followed the Mark Twain maxim, the, you know, buy land because they're not making it anymore. The city plans to use reserves and replenish reserves with lease revenue bonds for 30 years. They'll leave it up to residents to decide exactly how the area will be laid out. Mayor Tony Kranz envisions something similar to the open space at Harbaugh Seaside Trails in Solana Beach, where anyone in the area can enjoy the views. The city has experienced a tremendous amount of growth. In recent years, a five-star hotel has been built in the area, and currently an apartment complex is under construction, which worries residents about traffic. The reprieve that this purchase will provide is, I think, going to be appreciated by a vast majority of people in our city. And what does it really mean for the pocketbooks of Encinitas residents? We did the calculation based upon the purchase price divided by 26,000 homes in Encinitas, and I think it came to $235 per household. And um, Nearly a year. No, that's for the entire purchase. The figure doesn't include property taxes and interest, but residents say they're excited that future generations will be able to enjoy the land. It's always been private, which has been great, but now people can actually come and see it. Gorgeous views over there. The opportunity to add a beautiful parcel gateway to our city was really important. The landowner has attempted to develop this property over the years. A timeshare unit was proposed, but permit issues and the economy prevented that. The city is supposed to close on this property next month. Elizabeth Sanchez, CBS 8.